going on, everybody? DJ Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms and Blue Flame. Hashtag Farms and Blue Today, we've got 18 PC mods in testing. We got 12 console mods in testing. Custom modding update us on their latest projects. 40 modding show progress on their Heston Baylor. Sid Modding's got new picks from his X9 Combine. Northeast Farm Group teased their new Challenger tractor. Ross W talks about his John Deere large frame for consoles. Meyer Family Modding put my face on a box truck. Dutch Mod and Keller are working on a mod that you can actually drive. Vertex Design show off their new mod. We've got a video showing the new update to No Man's Land. Puma shows progress on Austria. Wicko. CNH Modding talks about the American map they're working on. Plus, CM Mods is getting very close to completing Lawfold's Aberdeen chair. Let's check it out. It's ST4 PC. We have Auto Load Pack. Joskin Trans KTP 2765. Kruger Agro Liner Pack. KR Pan RD 1600E. Roberto Lintarb 4032 Mower BX. Le Chazette MAN TGS Agro Liner Pack. MRF Double Claw. MRF RD 1600E. Multi Liquid Tank. Propane Tank. Tank, sheds, silo, somewhere in Canada, the northern coast, willow fence prefab pack, wooden fences pack, and wooden swing. It testing for console players, we have the 20-foot gooseneck trailer, agricultural shed, Amazon D860, bunker silo 1430, lizard metal trailer, MAN TGS 18500 skip pack, milk pier, MVU8, old house, residence pack, Finn Hewis JVK 16000, and Westbridge Hills. With all that being said, we still have 128 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 8 work days. Moving into today's top stories, and we start with the monthly update from Custom Modding regarding all of their current and upcoming mods in the works. Everything that we talk about today from Custom Modding will be for all platforms, starting with the John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer. They say that it's about 99.9999% done. Just waiting on the first feedback from Giants to start the beta, and then once everything is good, it will be released. Next, we have the Demco Lizard SideQuest 1200 gallon tanks. They are updating the logos in this update, and it will be sent off to Giants for testing later this week. Next is the John Deere 1870 Air Drill and C850 Air Cart. The cart is finished and waiting on the hoses to be completed on the drill, and then testing can begin. And lastly, from Custom Modding, we have the Case IH 2000 series early riser planters. They say that they have started in game testing, but that is all that they mentioned. The planters will be available in 12, 16, and 24 row versions. 40 Modding says most. Most of the mechanical moving components are completed and will soon be working on the exterior panels of their Heston 4900 baler, which they've said will probably be making 6,000 liter bills. That's insane. We get to see the incredible detail on this mod, which is truly fascinating. They've been working on this mod for at least a month or two, if not longer than that, and they're working hard every day to progress it as quickly as possible. But they are still taking their time to make it the most detailed and realistic baler the game has ever seen. There's no platform information available yet on this mod, as it's still a little bit too early to tell. Sid Modding shows off another few pics of their John Deere X9 Combine that he's working on, saying he's doing everything he can to get the mod out for all platforms. As this is an incredibly detailed mod, it is much harder to get out on platforms than you would imagine, but Sid is doing his best. Northeast Farm Group show off their upcoming Wheel Challenger mods with Custom Modding's Dimco SideQuest takes say that they are fitted and working great, making fall application a breeze. My understanding is they're making this Challenger tractor for all platforms and will have the MT500D and MT600D out when it's all said and done. Ross W Modding updates us regarding their John Deere large frame tractor. Yes, that they're trying to get this tractor out on all platforms. However, they don't know if Giants will accept it since AAA Modding has already released the 4755, 4955 which doesn't share all the same setups, but it does share a few setups with it. With that being said, they're trying to get it out anyway. They've been working on the console version over the last few weeks, about 75% complete with the conversion at this time. I will be keeping you updated on this as classic tractors are extremely popular in Farming Simulator right now, and this mod is beautiful. I've used it on PC quite a bit, and it's a great tractor. I hope console players get to use it soon as well. Meyer Family Modding made a face, but not only any face, it's a DJ face. That's my face. <laughs> Looking to be a special edition for their Bulldog box truck, and I love it. 
you know I'm going to have to use one of these. <laughs> Obviously, this will probably be a uh, private release, something like that, as Giants will not take this. In all seriousness, they have some public versions of this box truck as well, and they're going to be making it as a semi-trailer too. So that's pretty cool, both for all platforms. Looking great, Meyer Family Modding. This is going to be super awesome. I'm so excited. Dutch Modding says that since their AI vehicles are for PC only, they wanted to do something special for all platforms as well. So we are going to see a new skid steer. Here we go, right here it is. They say that this will either be a lizard brand or unbranded altogether, but that's not a bad thing. That means that this is a custom mod. A Dutch modding does awesome custom work. Stay tuned for more information on this one. Vertex Designs do Kroger ED14 is in game and ready for its close up. This is a new dolly that they've been working on that includes PTO and hydraulics, making it ideal for moving around larger loads with a tractor on your farm. They say that the console version is probable since there's no issues with branding but is not 100% confirmed. That will only be known once it goes through testing. Raznak has released a video on their YouTube channel showcasing the new update to Alien Gems No Man's Land. In the video, we get to see new paintable areas, trees, and placeables. To see the full video and to see everything coming with this new update, check out the link below beside Raznak YT. Puma145 released some more information on their upcoming Ostrowitko map. They have added eight models to the map to make it easier to build your own farm. If you want to do that instead of using the base game pre-built farm, they hope that this will be available this week for all platforms. CNH Modding updates us on the progress of their realistic American map. This is a map based on the area that they live in. Therefore, this project is a little more personal to them than most mods would be. They will be doing some alterations, new farms, different buildings, and maybe slight terrain alterations as well. The farm that they've been working on is almost a replica of their grandparents' farm. Swapped out a few buildings, got rid of some, but the layout is mostly a carbon copy. It comes complete with one house, nine usable sheds, two functional bins, 21 gates, because <laughs> why not, eight wintering cattle lots, and two large pastures. This might be one of the nicest maps that we've ever seen for American players. And lastly today, CMod says that Lawfolds is about 95% complete with just a few more bits to fix and then it will be sent off to their testers and to look out for a YouTube video soon. They may also do an improved PDA, but for now, bask in its glory. I'm so excited for this map. Actually looking at my personal gameplay on Drysternoff right now thinking, hmm, this equipment would work great. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Let me know, what do you guys have planned for this? Let's go! Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of other projects that you're interested in, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, enjoy the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! Um, I can't, <laughs> I can't think of anything for today. I'm so sorry.